Some drama erupted in the fifth inning of the Tiger Swallows game on July 7th, where Koji Chikamoto of the Tigers was accused of stealing signs by Munetaka Murakami of the Swallows, resulting in a bit of a shouting match between the opposing managers and umpires. This sort of altercation is a bit rare in Japan, so it's making quite a few headlines. With that in mind, let's examine the play in question. So it's the top of the fifth inning, runners on first and second, two outs, Tigers lead 4-0, and southpaw Kazuto Teguchi is on the mound, Koji Chikimoto is on second base after leading off the inning with a hit, and Teruaki Sato is at the plate as he takes an outside fastball for ball one. But if you look at Chikimoto the runner, he clearly raises his left hand three times, probably indicating an inside pitch. And that's when Murakami the third baseman starts yelling at the Tigers bench, accusing them of sign stealing. The Tigers deny this, and as the shouting intensifies, the two managers, Akihiro Yano and Shingo Takatsu, end up discussing things with the umpire crew. You can tell Takatsu is probably telling Yano to knock it off while Yano defends his guy. Now, first things first, the Tigers aren't being accused of electronic sign stealing, so even if Chikamoto is communicating to Sato here, a lot of people would say this is just gamesmanship anyway. Also, unless he read that it was a fastball, he's only indicating the location, not the actual pitch. But still, it's not a good look. That said, Chikamoto and Yano both deny the accusations. And if you look at the play from this angle, you can see that Chikamoto puts his arm up before Taguchi initially turns around, but then he flaps his arm again as Taguchi turns around the second time, which either means that he isn't very good at hiding it, or that he's simply getting in position to get back to the base for a pickoff. After all, Chikamoto is a pretty speedy runner. Either way, the controversy and reactions to this are clearly more significant than the play itself, and perhaps the biggest takeaway from all this is that Murakami isn't afraid of confrontation. After play resumed, Sato ended up fouling out. My personal takeaway from this is that it's not a good look, but it's also not that big of a deal. But what do you think? 